Hey there, beginners. Today we're going to talk about tonguing and when we are tonguing on a wind instrument. And if you don't know what tonguing is, I'm going to give you just a really, really brief example of a couple things that maybe you've heard before. So when I'm playing repeated notes, I'm using my tongue to separate those sounds, okay? I'm not doing that with little tiny spurts of air. I'm not going ho, 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 ho. Just like if I was to play this song. When I started that, I couldn't go ha 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 to get that note started. I have to use my tongue. So if I'm playing a wind instrument, uh, that tongue is either touching a reed or the tongue is teaching, uh, touching behind our teeth in order to separate um, those sounds. Just like when we're talking, we're using our tongues and our mouth to make consonant sounds and vowel sounds and separate the vibrations so that we can make language, okay? we can make words with our tongue. That's what we're doing on our musical instrument. That is just a very brief idea of what tonguing actually is. So when we're using our tongue, we have some activities that we can do to help us do this. And the first thing that we're gonna suggest is that we use a straw. So if you have a small straw at home, or if you've got one that maybe your band director provided for you, okay, we're gonna take that straw and put it in our mouth. And we're just gonna blow air. And what we're gonna practice by doing this is that we can blow air, and when we use our tongue, we're not gonna stop the air. So we're gonna feel the air on the end of the straw. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly tap just the very end of the straw with my tongue. And I think you can hear in the air that there's a little bit of a separation there. But I'm doing that on one breath. I'm not doing a separate breath. What we don't want is something like this. That's stopping the air in between notes. We don't want to do that. So the first thing that we can use with that, with a straw, is to take just a piece of paper, and when we're blowing on a piece of paper, if the paper moves, if we can just do some separate tonguing, do, 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 we can do that faster as well, do, 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 then we don't want the paper to always come back. We want to make sure that we're not stopping the air. So what I was tonguing there was do, 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 while my ear was going. If I was stopping the ear when I would do that, it would look like this. As the paper is moving back, that means that the ear is stopping. So that's an activity that we can use to practice that with, okay, before we try that on our instrument. We can also do it on our hand. If we feel the air stop touching our hand in between those little notes, then we know we're stopping the air. We don't want to stop the air. We just want little tiny segments in the air. The other thing we can practice that with is with a pinwheel um, or something like a pinwheel like this, okay? So if you don't have a pinwheel that maybe your director provided for you, okay, uh, the piece of paper would be a better solution for you. Okay, you can practice this also with a straw. Okay, if I was to tongue slower notes, maybe like quarter notes, it would look like this. But if I was stopping the ear when I did that, it would look something more like this. And you can see that the pinwheel was pausing in between those notes. So we don't want any pausing, we don't want any hesitation, we want that air to keep going. All the tongue is doing is tapping and coming away and tapping and coming away. So the first thing is we want our tongue to move while our air is not stopping. 